Myself and Lizzie Mack live in a lovely house in Cork. And we're fierce proud of it. And it sits up looking out over the, the, the lead. And we have a lot of birds. And I love sitting at the window looking out. And I was looking at two doves mating in the branch of a tree one day. And they wrote this poem. Grey doves. Two grey doves flanking each other, lovingly protective, facing north and south, coquettish in their pruning, next turning rapidly to touch beaks and speedily turn again to prune and clean in the full bloom cherry tree. As I sat in the kitchen, a natural voyeur watching and wondering as to whether they made it for life, when the black and white magpie, stuka like, swooped below the branch to gain speed for the ascent when he scattered them east and west in a delight of not jealousy but in different natural protectiveness. No doves now, but the magpie gives me the eye, a wink now and again on his flyover or while on a climb hopping from pine to an elm or a chestnut on his way to an assignation with a bird. And I wrote the second half from the point of view of the grey dove. Grey haired man. This could be the spot where I'd snag her and maybe even shag her under the cover of the full bloom cherry tree. We perch on a branch and start the courtship dance when I glance and see the white haired man sitting watching, waiting to see if I score. A buyer, the bastard, but I don't care. I'm north, she's south, I can, she can see, and I don't give a shit. Let him watch if he wants, get his jollies. I fought too hard with two young tough doves to get this one, this far with this young one. I'm older than the bastard watching. This could be my last chance at immortality. Chase, what is that? Took my eye off the ball over the white haired boy and nearly missed the bagpipe, dive bomber. I'm only here, I might be Randy, but it's every man for himself as the credo right now. You can't screw with a magpie stuck in your chest. Fuck, that was close. I hope she makes it too. In fairness, she was a tasty piece. A really nice little piece. Jesus, look at that. The grey-haired man has a smile of beatitude on his face. I'll just shit on his grey-haired window as I fly past. I only wish it could be in his eye. <laughs>